a little Amos. Uh, been a craze here uh, the last year or so about the uh, pocket fishing kits. So uh, I thought I'd show mine. Uh, I haven't tried it out yet. Uh, I was kind of just uh, sitting around the house watching a few videos uh, today and uh, checked out a few of these. So uh, what we have here is a uh, tube from Walmart that contained a protein type drink in it. So just uh, emptied it out so it had the uh, container. Um, on the outside here, um, I have the uh, spider wire. It's the uh, braided, super braid fishing line, uh, 65 pound test uh, to it. Uh, there's probably uh, on here, I'd say 100 to 150 feet of line. Uh, that's something that I've noticed on some of these kits people have been putting together. They haven't been giving themselves enough fishing line. Uh, they go to try out their kits, they get down to the fishing hole, and they see that the first 15, 20 feet out from the bank is full of moss and weeds, that kind of stuff, and they don't have enough line to uh, get out to the uh, water where they need to be. Uh, what I've done here uh, is I uh, just got a piece of tape, medical tape on here right now, holding the line together, keep it from coming unraveled in the, uh, the lid screws off. You'll see some of these made out of PVC pipe and that kind of stuff. Uh, all I done is I just took a hole and I ran some uh, uh, top one uh, high vis cord through it. Uh, inside I have two boppers. Uh, these boppers are the uh, high vis color uh, so we can see them. And uh, next when I uh, when I bass fish, you know, a couple of the lures that I usually use are uh, rattle traps. So I thought I'd throw a couple of those in the little uh, uh, quarter uh, rattle traps uh, with the treble hooks on them. So we have those. The next that uh, that we have in the kit. Uh, in this plastic bag, I have uh, a couple of uh, crappie jigs and a couple of different colored tails to them. Uh, one's a jig, one's like a, a roadrunner with a little spinner bait on it. Next thing that I have, this is the, uh, the weights. Uh, I have a couple different uh, bullet weights, some uh, bass weights, swivels, uh, some uh, sinkers, that kind of stuff in there. Next, in the container, we have a couple of uh, crappie uh, type hooks. Uh, these are just uh, golden, and they already have the line uh, pre-tied to them. And then I have a couple of uh, red. Uh, red in the water is uh, reminds fish of blood, like something wounded. So with these uh, red top hooks here. Uh, or to be able to put a little bait on there. These are crappie hooks also. Put a little bait on there and uh, it would uh, act as a attractant to them. And that's what I have uh, in the kit so far. Uh, there's still some room. I might, uh, might go back in and put a couple plastic worms in there. Uh, it shouldn't be a, an issue whatsoever. But anyway, that's... Uh, a little pocket fishing kit that I put together for you guys to show today so now it means uh, I gotta go get my fishing lessons and uh, go out and give it a try so uh, this is AMS pocket fishing kit contents real simple took about mm, 10 minutes to put the whole thing together 
and that's small enough where it can fit in my uh, cargo pocket on my pants or in my day pack in the glove box uh, I always have a way to uh, have a food source as long as I have water and you know something else with these two with these hooks uh, you want to go with a smaller hook uh, you can catch a big fish on a small hook it's real hard to catch a little fish on a big hook so put that in uh, your nugget pouch and uh, we'll call that a free one uh, this is AMS pocket fishing kit and its contents peace